race facts. It's the first time after 2015 that the F2 Grand Prix of Italy takes place at Brindisi. 20 boats are qualified for the race, with Rashid Al Kemzi on pole position, then the Sjohorn second and Tobias Mintikas on third. The race course in Brindisi, a five-pin course with four left and one right-hand turns. One lap is 1.4 km long, the race distance 43 laps. The race Because the provided starting pontoon did not match the Formula 2 requirements, it was decided the Grand Prix of Italy would have a flying start. So all the boats lined up on the race course and then the green flag was up and Rashida Kemzi was first into the first turn, followed by Bimba Sjohom and Tobias Mintikas. The leader Al Kamsi once again proved his outstanding performance the whole weekend. He built up a gap to second Sjohom and controlled the race. But already in lap 3, Stefan Hagen on 4th position got under pressure from Ferdinand Sandbergen. Hagen could defend his 4th position, but Sandbergen kept up the pressure. Turn after turn, lap after lap, Sandbergen tried to find a way to pass Hagen, when both closed up on 3rd place to be as Mintekars. So now it was a 3-boat fight for 3rd, 4th and 5th spot. And also Sandbergen got in trouble when Ola Patterson on 6th position came closer, so now the boat from 3rd to 6th were all within split seconds. Now again Sandbergen trying to pass Hagen and Hagen almost losing it here, but the German still on 4th spot in front of Sandbergen, who himself has Patterson full size in his mirrors. It was racing at the limit in these rough conditions and as close as possible. Only Rashida Kemzi, the leader of the race, seemed to have everything under control, as well as Bimba Sjöholm on second. Sandbergen, Pettersen, that thing is not over yet. Both side by side into the turn, Sandbergen on the inside stays in front of Pettersen. But now Sandbergen inside and it's Hagen again under pressure from Sandbergen. What a race now, again Pettersen on the inside tries to pass Sandbergen. Three boats now on the edge. Sandbergen almost flying and Pettersen sees his chance both side by side. There is Hagen in the way and now it's Sandbergen side by side with Hagen. But Hagen stays in front of Sandbergen and Pettersen still on the inside. Pettersen, no, still Sandbergen in front of Pettersen. It's unbelievable, what a show. And now it's Hagen again getting in trouble. Sandbergen is there and now Pettersen passed Sandbergen and is now fifth and already chasing Stefan Hagen for fourth spot. Patterson on fire now, goes to the inside and backs off here, but Ola Patterson at the moment with the clearly better performance. Hagen has problems keeping that boat under control in these conditions and Ola Patterson again on the inside, both side by side now and again Hagen stays in front of Patterson. But no time to rest. Ola Patterson right behind Hagen on the back straight. Patterson can go faster, side by side now. And Patterson pulled ahead. Now Patterson fourth, Hagen fifth, and Sandbergen sixth. And there is Sandbergen. The Charger pilot also passed Hagen. Now Hagen dropped back to sixth spot. Now this becomes the Ola Patterson show. The Swede right behind Tobias Mintekas. This is the battle for third now. And Hagen in serious trouble. Now passed by Duarte Benavente. Hagen's boat undrivable in these conditions. But there is Patterson. Pulled to the inside of Mintekas. And there you go. Ola Patterson now third. Right now, it looks like everything is possible for Ola Patterson at this Grand Prix. And indeed, Patterson closed the gap to second Bimba Sjöhorn. It is unbelievable. Meanwhile, Ferdinand Sandbergen gets passed by... <laughs> oh! 
by Duarte Benaventa. So now this is important looking at the overall standings because Benaventa now moved up to third overall in the championship. But this race is not over yet. Patterson still trying to catch Sjöholm and this second spot on the podium. And there you go, Patterson taking a wide line, better acceleration and Patterson is through. Ola Patterson now on second spot, Sjöholm third, but their yellow flag is out. What happened? It's Giacomo Saki who stopped with technical problems. That means Bimba Sjöholm moved back up to second because the yellow flag came out in the same lap Ola Patterson passed Sjöholm. What a race so far. Epic doesn't even seem to describe this Italian Grand Prix. And now everything is open again. Even Al Kamsi's first spot is now on the line. And here is the green flag. Restart and Patterson already trying to get Sjöholm. No, Sjöholm still second, Patterson third and there is Tobias Mintekas on fourth. But now it's Mintekas getting under pressure from Duarte Benavente. This is the fight for fourth position and it's Mintekas staying in front of Benavente. Sandbergen, who is only sixth now, losing another spot to Daniel Segenmark. So Sandbergen still second in the championship, but second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth now separated by only five points in the world championship standings. Only four laps to go and Stefan Hagen drops out of the race. Akamzi dominating this Grand Prix from start to finish and wins the Grand Prix of Italy in Brindisi. But the fight for a second spot is not over yet. It's the final lap and Patterson right behind Sjöholm on the outside and Patterson with more speed into the last turn of the race. Sjöholm inside, Patterson outside. Can he make it on the finish straight? There is the finish line and Patterson passed Sjöholm on the final meters of the race. Yeah, that's one of the roughest races and the race of my life. Yes, of course it is. It's almost like winning here the first time. Who would have had these two on the list for a podium finish here in Brindisi? Bimba Sjöholm, after an excellent race, comes third and is more than happy. Uh, that is awesome. It's great. It was a very tough race. Uh, very, very much bounce and waves and suddenly Ola disappeared from nowhere. And he overtook me, but then... Of the, then there was a yellow flag, so I won that back. And well, I'm happy anyway, because um, now I know what this boat can do, what we can do as a team. And yeah, it's good with some points for the rest of the season, finally. But it was Rashid Kemzi who shines most with his outstanding performance here at the Italian Grand Prix in Brindisi. I was running uh, so fast in the course. I uh, already lap uh, everyone only left the, the fourth and the third and second and me. <laughs> but uh, after having a yellow flag and it was uh, completely rough, uh, I want to save my uh, position and I did a good uh, performance this race. The Abu Dhabi pilot not only won his second race in 2019, he also made a huge step towards the 2019 title win. Akamzi is now 30 points ahead of second Ferdinand Sandbergen in the championship standings. But with two more races to come, everything is still open and like mentioned before, only five points difference between Sandbergen, Benevente, Pettersen, Hagen and Segenmark. Places two to six in the championship means a close fight for the championship podium at the upcoming races. You cannot miss that, so stay tuned and follow F2 on YouTube, Facebook and F2WorldChamp.com. Wow, 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 wow.